Hi, my name is Subo Agarwal and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over how to determine a percentile. So a percentile, to give you a quick idea of what that is, it's a value between 0 and 99 that represents the amount of observations in a specific group of data that are less than a particular value. So let me give you an example to simplify that. We often use percentiles with test scores, like, oh, you scored in the 99th percentile. So if you're in the 99th percentile, what that means is at your test score, say you got, say you got like an 80%. Being in the 99th percentile means that 99% of the kids scored below you. That's what percentile is. It's the, amount, it's the percentage of observations in a specific set of data that are less than a particular value, like a test score. Now say we have a bunch of test scores and we're trying to find a percentile. You would do that in a couple of easy steps. The first thing you would do is sort the test from least to greatest. Let's make that lowercase l. So that'll give us, and people often do this with a computer. I mean, you can also write it out, but it depends how many data you have and data. Second thing we're going to do is use this equation, which is percentile equals L over N times 100. In this case, L is the number of tests or observations less than the test you're looking at, and N is the total number of tests. So say I wanted to solve for the percentile of someone who scored an 89 on the test. So I would just look at these tests that I have sorted, and I would count the number of observations until I hit 89. So it would be like, say there were 115 test scores less than 89, and there were 130 total. So I would just divide these two and multiply that by 100, and that would give me the value of the percentile. So this right here is the equation we need to look at. So that's how you find a percentile. My name is Subo Gerwal, and thank you for taking an interest in math.